Got the curtains up. Flame on. Hopefully that'll get it nice and toasty in here. Gonna do the rear fender and the sides today. Um, those are just gonna be black. This is gonna get the blue and the black. Um, hopefully get the rest done tomorrow. I'm gonna see how much I'm able to get done today. You know, there's two hours after painting the first base coat and then before I can mask it and do the second base coat. So I'm gonna do everything I can today, trying to keep it as hot in here as possible. I think this will do. I mean, you know, there's major gappage going on here, but uh, it still blocks in most of the heat and it's supposed to be 50 something. We should be able to get it to that 70 that we want to paint. So do what we can. So the back fender's already been hit with 180 and 320. So now we do the 600, the wet sand. You just keep that X pattern going. Some people guide coat for this part. You can do that. It'll show you where you've been, what you need to be looking for. Uh, I don't, but you can. So after wet sand, you wipe everything down with wax and grease remover. And then the final step before base coat, wipe everything down with the surgical blue tack cloth. I mean, there's all kinds of tack cloths. You can really use any brand. I just always use surgical blue. Um, yeah, you know, you get stuck to your brands. You're gonna find stuff that you like and you know, nothing wrong with any of them. I'll just tell you all the stuff I do. Uh, Bondo makes absolutely anything you need for paint. Most of their products are pretty good. U-Pole makes absolutely everything you need for paint. Ain't used a bad U-Pole product yet. So, but yeah, Surgical Blue is the one I always go with. It's what we used in the hot rod shop and I just kept on buying them. So, uh, yeah, give it a good tack and then you're ready to spray. Of course, I don't have a shaker, so we just shake the hell out of it. That's the color though. It'd be a good looking blue. So that was the second coat. For the third coat, we're not gonna do all the way around it because the sides are going black on this bike. So, you know, we just wanted to get something on there. So everything's got the same tackiness basically. So after I put this third coat and that'll be a, a heavy wet coat. And after that, it's gonna sit for two hours. We'll come out here and mask it out and get the black shot on. I'm gonna do those side covers at the same time, right there. And uh, tomorrow should be about the same temperature as today. So we're gonna do the front fender and the tank. All right, here we are two hours later. Now we're about to start masking it off. Try and find a design we like, but uh, with the shape of this fender, odds are we're probably going close to what the factory had going. Just cause like, I mean, I would prefer to run it straight off and not have the round, but uh, I'm not really sure how that's gonna look. I'm gonna tape it though and see, I'm gonna mess with a few different designs here and see how I like it.
So I decided to run them straight down instead of curving at the bottom. And that way just the top will be blue, the sides will be black. Gonna peel the mask and then we're gonna clear it. Thank you. 